Hey, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles, and you're live on Thursday night. It's probably a lot better on Saturday night why it does that. But we're here for another clutch cutting. This is clutch number 13. Get some extra light on there. Uh, this is a clutch I'm really excited about. Won't be one of our longer videos, so I hope you tune in fast. A couple reasons. One, I'm hungry. I haven't had dinner yet. It's been just a crazy, hellacious week the last few weeks. Am I telling the truth on that question, girl? What? <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading comments. Oh, you're reading comments? Well, share some if there's any good ones. Uh, uh, just a lot of check-ins. A lot of check-ins. Well, check on in, people. Good to have you here. I said it's been a crazy week lately. Crazy the last few weeks. Yes. It's going to get crazy. We also, before I get started on this, we have booked our table at Denver. So we will be at the, I think it's the Arapahoe County Fairgrounds. It's Aurora, Colorado, right by Denver International Airport. We're going to be there in October. So if you have a chance, come on out and see us. I don't know what all I'll have. Uh, honest to God, I'd love to tell you I'd take some bells, but all of our Patreon <laughs> subscribers have snatched up all those bells already, so I won't have any of them. We will have some from this clutch if there's any left over and anything I don't keep. Uh, some of the banana pin stuff that we already hatched out, we'll probably some of that there. So we'll have some cool stuff, I hope. So definitely come by, check us out. I also just put in an order for a whole bunch more t-shirts, which we'll get to the uh, Patreon members when they hit that six-month mark on that sign-up. And also, anybody who wants to purchase t-shirts at the show, we'll have those there as well. So that's going to be pretty cool. I'm really excited about that. It's been a while since we've had any of those. Uh, this clutch today, lucky number 13, and it is a fire yellow belly bred to my pastel exantic. So I'm really looking for are fireflies. Firefly yellow bellies would be great too, but mainly I'm more concerned about getting the firefly in there. It'll be 100% head exantic. Obviously if I take a firefly, raise it up for a few years, I can put my zebra bee that you all have seen Zeus. I'm going to pull him out on his day. He is going to be completely unrelated to these guys. Come on little dude. There he is. So he'll be completely unrelated. So he doesn't know it, but he is probably looking at some of his future girlfriends right now. That's the hope. Of course, we're looking for Firefly Xanthics, Super Pastel Fire. So uh, what would that be called? They're Superfly Xanthics, and also Fire Bee Xanthics and Killer Bee Fire Xanthics. Again, I want to make this as black and white as possible. So that's what we're working towards. Put him back up. Thanks for not trying to bite me today. He's actually getting better, and I'm probably handling more I should because he's my favorite. <laughs> and a big shout out to everyone who is tuning in and saying hi. I did see that we had Alabama, Manhattan, Hutch, Pennsylvania. Which Manhattan? Local or New I York? I think it was local. All right, Manhattan, Kansas, don't forget to rock your purple on Saturday. We're going to beat Vandy. So I know I'm going to make a few people angry here, but let's uh, give a nice Big 12 welcome to the SEC and kick the shit out of Vanderbilt, K-State. So Emo, let's get that done. Yep, and we will have more shirts hopefully coming. We've put in an order. Yep. So I know that some of you commented that you wanted shirts in Kansas City and we were limited on size. Yeah. Will they be here by Denver? They will. They're supposed to be. I haven't got the proofs back yet. I'm waiting on the proofs. But the whole point of the order is to get them ready for Denver. And also make sure if you go to Denver, check out. We should have a brand new tablecloth and set up. I'm really excited about. But enough about Denver. Let's get on to it. So what we need are females, which I won't know today. And we also need live healthy babies. And hopefully some fireflies. What's that? Are you going to talk about your unicorn? My unicorn? It's not really a unicorn. It's about a 1 in 10 chance. Uh, we're pretty sure we hit a female banana. That's what she's mentioning. Wasn't one of the banana pins. Just a straight banana. The only one we hit. But I do believe it is female. Which means it will be a keeper. I pretty much prepare for every video to get yelled at for cutting too small of a hole. Hold on, I need to get the light. I feel like we can't see what's going on. Can we move the bin closer to the light? Yeah. Thanks, babe. Well, what we got here? That. It's probably going to end up being... I'm not real sure yet. Alive, that's what's going to end up being. A what? Alive. Alive. But it's definitely Congratulations. Not, it's definitely not a normal, so that's good okay. news. Thanks for those of you who are kind of hanging in as I'm grabbing the little light bulb. And awesome. 
kind okay. of moving it around. It's so kind of not have see. that right there. So I can see, dear. I know. I am the most important person in this because I'm the one with the scissors by baby snakes. Get in there. It wouldn't bother me there, dear. You were fine. No. I know. I'm adjusting it. Now this one appears to be... <laughs> you can tell we're really high-tech here in the breed room with our $5 Walmart lamp. <laughs> yeah. That one is going to be just a normal. When we get out, it could possibly be yellow belly, but it's hard to say right now. But definitely no pastel or fire that I see in that one right now. And you can see the difference in the color in those two. Yeah. So really neat. All right, let's move on. I guess I should touch that one. Yep, little reactions. Doing good. Now, once again, what were you hoping on getting out of this clutch? Fireflies. Now, and what can you do with the firefly? The, no, everything in here will be head exanthic, too. Okay, give me that light back, dear. Yeah, I know. You can't keep moving that on and off, on and off, on and off. It's got to either be on or not. You know what? My hand hurt. I'm sorry. You're kind of demanding. I know. <laughs> now that, see the color looks pretty normal. Not as bright as this one. But look at that. That's the head. And there's a nice head stamp on there. I bet as that comes out, that'll probably end up being like a fire. So we'll see. We will see. Yeah, I agree. He needs to be nice to Question Girl. I try to be. Thanks, Tornado. I'm Somebody also, needs to stand up for this lady. I also want to make sure that we're not, you know, changing the lighting so much. I mean, people yell at me for that. Uh-huh. Ah, goopy eggs. And... That one definitely is looking good. What I'm hoping is this one might be, the first one we cut might be the Firefly. It is so really, really bright yellow when you look in there. Yeah. Really, really nice. So that could be our winner when it crawls out. These will be hard to identify until they crawl out. This one here, really interesting belly checking. It could be the yellow belly coming through. And it's colored, see it squirming, doesn't appear to be normal, so I think that's going to be something. This little guy I'm pretty sure is going to be something. You can just see on the head stamp there, yeah. definitely doesn't be normal. This one I'm pretty sure is going to be a normal. But we'll know from sure when it comes out, I don't see any flame anything I'd normally see. So anyway, that's kind of where we are. Like I say, this is a clutch I'm really excited about. Probably not that exciting of a uh, cutting to watch. Because it's mostly going to be things that look a little bit brighter than normal to fire. It'll be hard to tell until they crawl out. Fire is always hard to see in the egg until it crawls out. Same with some of the pastel looking stuff to decide what's firefly and what's not. Although, I think that first one's probably our best bet. So now the question is when they come out, what do we have? Which I'll probably know in, I don't know, three or four days. Uh, it's all on my face there. And also, then we have to decide. I have a hair that's driving me up a wall. There we go. Hopefully that's gone. And then, <laughs> then we have to decide what's female and male. I'll tell you any of the combos involving fire that are female, I will not part with. Uh, especially if I have a firefly female, I'll be keeping that because of the exantic projects down the road. And that's why I'm so excited about this. Well, it's not like a big wow clutch for most people. It is for us just because that hair is still there. Blah! Just because of... <laughs> I think it's a cat hair. Could be stupid cats. I love them, but they piss me off. Hold on. No, it's, it's fine. I okay. got it. Okay. All right. Um, but because of how it advances our projects, that's why it excites me. So it, it kind of gets us a step closer to that all black and white snake. That, you know, first goal is making Zeus here. He's a linchpin. And now I want to take that a few steps further. So, really, really excited about the potential in this clutch. All right, any questions? Um, no. Doesn't look like we've had any that really kind of popped up other than can we pre-order a Zeus or a Firefly? And if we can, how do we do that? Well, 
you can't pre-order a Zeus because I'm only going to have the one Zeus this year. So uh, we typically don't sell things until we actually hatch them. Again, I don't know what we have here, but if we did have a spare Firefly that we wanted to part with, the only way to pre-order that would be through Patreon. So that is what we're kind of trying to build that Patreon. is kind of like a VIP club for Olympus Reptiles. So there's going to be some major discounts. So I'm looking at some new stuff to it. I got to talk with camera guy Kurt about it, my latest idea, see if it goes over. Uh, you know, some really neat ideas with that, but that's the only people that can pre-order us. One of the perks of being on that service right now, so that would be the way to do it. And that's with any of our snakes that include their banana pins and things like that. And since Miss Aaron mentioned it, this is our little female banana. Haven't even shed yet. Isn't she pretty? And really nice colors, a lot of orange. Really pretty baby. So Yeah. Now, are you going to be at Tinley Park? I won't be at Tinley. I am not going to be able to make Tinley this year. And for whoever's telling you to be nice to question, girl, let me tell you why I'm not making Tinley. We have a car event. It's a full weekend in a nice little town called Eureka Springs, Arkansas. It's their Corvette weekend we've been going to for years ever since I met her. Uh, it happens to this year be the same weekend as Tinley. So I'm not going to Tinley, and I'm taking Question Girl on that trip. You know, you got to put your family above everything else sometimes. So I do, I am nice to her. There, I think it was Tornado or somebody that said that. So we're going to be going to that instead of Tinley. Now, with that, camera guy Kurt may in fact be at Tinley at the Manhattan Reptile World Table. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to make it yet or not. I don't think we'll have any of our animals at Tinley, just because we're going to be uh, trying to put together a full display for Denver. Uh, so that's kind of where that's at right now. Uh, any other questions? Uh, yeah. Can you order shirts or only get them from joining Patreon? You can order shirts. I haven't priced the online price yet. Uh, and shipping and whatnot. Patreon's probably my favorite way to get rid of a shirt to somebody. Just because I know what I want that to be. Like, I know what I want that to be. And I know it's kind of a... It's kind of difficult because you're asking people to pay to pay money, and so you've got to give them something for that money. And I'm trying really hard to make to sell snakes a different way, to make a new way of doing things that'll just, if I can get it the way I want it, it'll be, I think, mind blowing uh, long term. I am going to limit the number of Patreon subscribers, so I'm going to cap it. And right now, I think the total cap is going to probably be around. Uh, 1,500 people total. So when you add up all the subscription levels, we'll never have more than that. It may even be a little lower. So that way it can stay, it stays in a smaller knit group, hopefully, and we can move some snakes out in that VIP group for unbelievable prices as it's offset by the whole group, putting, putting money in to where we can set things go for nothing. It's going to be fun. It, it's going to be just a whole new way of doing business, I think. Uh, so I'm really, really excited about it, if we can get it going off the ground. And right now, I think we got about 19 people on board with it, and so it's starting. It's starting. Yes? Yeah. Now, what's so special about having a female banana? Uh, the banana jeans is sex-linked. So when you have a male maker banana, which is what we have, everything that gets banana tends to be male. You know, there's numbers that have been thrown out by a ton of people who've done this a lot longer than me. The percentages of males that you get, usually here's 90% higher, will be male. So when you get that female, it's kind of kind of nice because you're expecting male, 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 male. So to finally hit the female from a male maker is great. As we raise her up, it would allow us to make super bananas. It would allow us to do other things where we can get a higher ratio of females now, like an even ratio, so we don't have to be 1 in 10 from her. If I'm understanding correctly, it should be about normal from a female that came from a male maker, I believe. Don't quote me. i got to breathe it out to figure that out for sure. Cause some differing things on that from what I've read. So it's just kind of a big deal because, you know, you can hatch 75 bananas and not get any of those. Or you may get, you know, four or five. Uh, we've only done two clutches of banana for a total of one, two, three, four, five, seven bananas and hit a female. So... Pretty excited about that. All right, anything else? Uh, yeah. So when it comes to uh, breeding, mm -hmm. uh, do you guys have any ball pythons currently for sale? Where would they find those at? Are you talking about? What do you mean when it comes to breeding? Like, 
If you're asking about babies for sale, you can contact us on Facebook. We just posted an available list on our Facebook. If you follow on our Patreon, pretty much anything you've seen that I haven't specified as a holdback, you're allowed to inquire about, and I'll tell you exactly what we have. Uh, so that patreon.com, yep, you got it spelled right, and just find Olympus Reptiles. We are high-tech in our advertising here. Yeah, at, yeah. a lot of you uh, have all asked about Patreon, you, and it's P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com. Yeah. And I believe if you look, and in this video later, Kurt usually goes in there when he does his thing, and he puts a link in the description of our videos to the Patreon now. And oftentimes a little touch button at the end of the video. I don't know how he does that crap, but it'll have a little link to our Facebook. So you can just click on that little Patreon and we'll take you right there. Um, one of the things we're going to do on that is like literally we'll be selling snakes. The quicker it grows, the better snakes we can sell on there. The higher gene counts, you know, the more desirable that we can sell for really, really low. I'm going to do something this year when I get back from Denver if I have anything left. But it won't probably be, you know, a super high-end animal yet. We've got to get it up there where it's offsetting that cost for us. So we're working towards it. Um, any other questions? Yeah. Oh, back to the breeding. Like I say the face now. If you're asking about breeding snakes, like if I'm getting rid of any of my breeders yet, we are not rotating on any females. As a matter of fact, I just bought uh, 20 more adult female tubs that are on order to arrive here. So you'll see this room expand again soon for my grow-ups to move into there. So I'm not getting rid of any breeding females right now. I'm expanding, and I probably will continue to be that way for the next two to three years at least. So. Yeah, now, is the Stormtrooper ball python what you're trying to achieve with Zeus and the Firefly? Uh, no, I'm not going for the Stormtrooper, simply because the Stormtrooper right now is a one-off, and whatever made that Stormtrooper uh, is it's hard to say, because I think John, a uh, dog, probably has a gene running around in his collection that he's not aware of, that he's going to have to breed that and separate it out, figure out what's going on to create that, or it may just be something with that one individual animal. So until John can identify that gene, it's going to be very hard to go out and say, oh, I want to recreate the Stormtrooper, because it's like trying to cook when you only have half a recipe, you know, and I don't know what the other half of the recipe is. I'm probably going to make a shitty meal. And it's kind of the same thing with that Stormtrooper right now. It's hard to recreate it because we only know half the recipe. And the half that we know, I believe, is Firefly Exantic. But speaking of John, if you look at some of the things that John has done, like the fire bee exantics and the firefly exantics and those things, that's what we're chasing. But I want to put more genes into it as well to push that quality uh, even higher in that pure, pure black and white animal. So you know, I'm not reinventing the wheel. I mean, obviously he kind of pioneered some of that in the SK line. But I like what he's done, and, and you guys know me, you know that I'm a big fan of JD Constriction. That's why a lot of my Xanthic stuff comes from his line. Because if you, you have to have quality animals to make quality animals. It's not about just getting the morph, it's about getting the type, the quality of the morph that you want for your projects. I can't stress that enough, you know. So, uh, all right, any other questions? I'm uh, getting the signal from Question Girl that it is time to wrap this up. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I promise the next clutch we cut might be a little more entertaining. Might have a little more eye candy in it. Maybe. I know this one wasn't the most eye candy of all, but I'm excited about it. All right, guys. Sorry, oh. your eye candy's filming. <laughs> oh, look at her go. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again really soon.